Welcome to this bedtime prayer. This is a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the person I'm praying for who desires an evening prayer to end their day. Father, they are thankful for your goodness today. Thank you for watching over them and guiding them. You love them more than they know and desire to help them be all that you've called them to. As their day is now ending, we ask you to please help them identify what may be hindering them. Show them what may be weighing them down and holding them back. They don't want to miss anything that is theirs through Christ. They are throwing out any negative attitudes, troublesome thoughts, and bad habits that may be entangling them. They want to rid themselves of these weights and sins so they can run the race you set before them tomorrow and the rest of their days on earth. It's time to let them go in Jesus' name. Please help them, Lord, to step up in you even more than they already are. Help them rise up to a new level of closeness with you. The person I'm praying for recognizes that their walk with you needs to continually grow. And a big part of growing in God comes down to their prayer life. They want to spend more time in prayer throughout the day. They want a powerfully effective prayer life. They want their prayer life to have an abundance of fruit. The truth is, the less time they spend with you, the less likely they are to receive the instructions they need in order to win every single day. You have daily tasks for them, and you want to reveal how to complete these tasks, oftentimes revealing those instructions during times of prayer. It is in the flesh that inconsistency abounds. It is in the spirit that consistency thrives. We ask you to help the person I'm praying for establish a surefire habit of making prayer a top and regular priority in their life. We decree and declare that you complete what you have started in them. We decree and declare that they are living right before you and spending time daily in prayer. What once was a temptation that would weigh them down no longer holds them back. Fear, bad habits, negative thoughts, and any other hindering weights have simply lost their grip. They're destroyed in your presence. The person I'm praying for is running their race without any self-imposed hindrances. They're renewing their mind by your word and getting your perspective on everything they face. Their sole desire is to please you and live for you every single day. We praise you that there is nothing that is more important to them than knowing your will and living life in a way that brings delight to you. Glory to your name forever. Prayer is an integral part of their life like oxygen is to living. They are steadfast, immovable, and consistent in their time with you. Praise you, Father. Nothing is as important to them as moments they spend with you. In your presence is joy, peace, love, and wave after wave of refreshment. We praise you that as they invest and spend time with you every day, you are enlightening them with the knowledge that you want them to know. Their time in prayer is the secret to their success in Jesus' name. We speak peace and protection over them right now. Refresh them, Lord, as they end their day. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen.